Also, I saw that the panels which you are making uh, are already 300, 320, 300, even 400 I've seen, well, right? We see our module, our main performance, I think, is three, 300, 305, 310, right? Yeah. For the 60 cell. For the 72 cell, maybe it's more like a 360, 365, and 371, okay. right? And then with the introduction of a half cut, we're going to bring that wattage to another, another 10 watt up. Okay, so then we're 380. And, but I also saw the video that they were mentioning 400 watt panels. 400 watt, we think we can reach that, you know, by 2020, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we think, you know, by 2020, 400 watt module will be widely available in the marketplace. Yeah. What kind of innovation? Who's doing the innovation at uh, Longi? Okay, we are we are consistently investing, you know, in the R&D, right? We invest five to seven percent of our revenue directly into R&D. This is not very common among. PV manufacturers. Most of the PV manufacturers are doing probably uh, close to one percent. We 1%. are one percent, yeah. but we are investing about five to seven percent consistently through our history. Last year, we invest 170 million US dollar into R&D and become the largest spender uh, among all PV manufacturers. Okay, so you're investing a lot, and you work a lot with universities and other companies. How is the buildup of your ecosystem? That's right. We work actually have a close collaboration with all through the whole uh, infrastructure, through the whole supply chain, right? Yep. Be the uh, equipment supplier, material supplier, and also advanced research institute and universities, right? We form a strategic partnership, try to address real manufacturing issues, right? Try to improve the performance of our product, try to improve the uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. and reduce the cost. So try to develop a product with a leading performance at a lower cost. Yeah, okay, very impressive. Which, who are the people, who are, who are the people, what is the management team behind uh, Longi? Who has the vision, uh, where is it going? Okay, so Longi was started by a group of, you know, classmates uh -huh. uh, back in 2000, right? So all of them were studying in Nanzhou University and studying semiconductor physics. Right, so the classmates, so the founder, CEO uh, of the company, uh, Mr. Zheng Guoli, and uh, he, the first job from the college after college yeah. is pulling single crystal ingot. Right, so has been doing that for the whole life. Uh -huh. Right, and then they also named Longji after the president of that university, the past oh, president really? of Yang, because they respect his presence so much, uh -huh. and so they decided that all the companies they start among all the peoples. Uh, the classmates yeah. are all named Nongji. And how many of the classmates are still there? Uh, actually, within our company, we have these three, right? Mr. Uh, our chairman, yeah. uh, our, the CEO, yeah. the president, and also we have the president of the Longji Solar, which is the, the cell and the module business unit, yeah. right? So all from the same class. And they're still there after after 18 years. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. What is the, What do you think in five or ten years? Where will this company go to? In five to ten years, uh, our management has this vision that you know, the solar plus storage probably become the cheapest energy source. Uh -huh. so does does that mean also you will go into storage? No, actually we are not. We are monitoring that case. We are not going that way. We just think you know, right now, even right now, we our management think you know the PV in many areas reach great parity, right? The cost keep going down, and and then you know we are also our management side. In their mind, they also have a social responsibility. You know, they want to make this manufacturing green because we are in the green business. We also want to make our manufacturing green as well. So most of our new capacity expansion are located in Yunnan province, which is uh, powered almost 100% by hydro. Right? This is going to bring us low-cost electricity and make manufacturing. And also because of the green constraint. Those electricity actually cannot be exported out. So we become the porter and the magnifier of those green energy. So we use green energy to make green energy product and yeah. then deploy it worldwide, right? And so in the future, in the 10 years, we think, you know, the solar plus storage will become so cheap that become a default energy source, right? By that time, by that time, hopefully we will be able to use PV to make a PV product. Okay, that would be yeah, that would be very useful. Okay, well, thank you very much for sharing the story and uh, about the old uh, the aggressive growth uh, which you're going to have. And uh, wish you lots of luck and thank you for your talk. Yeah, thank you.